Morning. Wednesday, March 15th, 2023. Looking like a, like an ice gem out here. Hair's getting ridiculous. I guess you could use this project as a kind of time lapse, you know? Just watch my hair steadily get longer and longer and longer. I see no, no point to cut it, no reason to cut it when I have zero commitments that require me to look more presentable than this. But yeah, oh, actually you couldn't use this as a time lapse because, um, yeah, because even though I record the vlogs every Wednesday morning and put them up, but the songs are sometimes recorded before the vlog, so it's never going to be an accurate representation of my hair growing every three or four days. It's going to jump around from time to time. But if you follow the vlogs week by week, then yeah, you'll see my hair getting steadily longer, which is the most unimportant conversation topic or piece of information you could ask for, unless you really care about my hair. If you really care about my hair, you've got problems and you need to, you know, reassess what you're doing with your life. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, week 11 and week 12 are both finished. I'm two songs ahead right now. I had to re-record this video because I started playing the beat in the background, um, the beat I wanted to use for week 13, but then I'm like, we're not there yet. So this is the beat for week 11. Songs recorded, videos made, I'll upload it on Saturday. That's that. After, after this vlog, I'm gonna, you know, sort myself out and go and see a friend of mine. I mentioned him a while ago, uh, an old friend who's now a very talented videographer, filmmaker. He wants to make a video for um, the week seven song. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna go talk about it today. And then this Saturday, we're gonna go to some locations and you know shoot the video, film the footage, and then he's gonna go and work his magic. And that will exist at some point in the future. It'll be a music video. Woohoo, let's go. What else? Ah, right, okay. Just, I sit here with my coffee. Vietnamese coffee gifted to me by a friend in Hanoi. Mm. Long Vai? Oh, this cup, that's what I was going to talk about. The cup, the writing on the cup. I don't know if you can see it on it. There we go. Inspire, create, shine. I love that. I stole this cup from a meeting in London with a TV company. Uh, I just saw those words, inspire, create, shine, and I thought, what? Three beautiful words for an artist to live by. So I was sat in this meeting, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal this cup. Um, I didn't end up stealing it in the end, but I have it, don't I? Uh, let me explain why these, these meetings were going on, like a, how many, 10 to 15 years ago, and me and my pal were gigging a lot together, you know, touring together, and doing all sorts of stuff in, in poetry mainly and education but rap poetry education that kind of stuff anyway my power went hugely viral and this meant that all these tv companies started paying attention to him they, they wanted a bit so when me and him were gigging in london quite a lot there was one day we had free between gigs and he set up a load of meetings with these tv companies and we went we dotted around london going to these different offices and talking to these people which was you know an experience um I mean, nobody knew who I was. I, I kind of, I had no pressure because nobody had asked me to be there uh, or had even seen me, really. It was just a case of, they knew my power from going viral and I was there because we worked together. That was it. So yeah, um, it was fine. I just kind of, you know, observed the experience and spoke when I was spoken to and <clears throat> that was it, basically. But this one meeting we went to, and you know, they all offer you coffee, take your coffee, and when I'm sat upstairs with this cup, and you know, at one point, like, when they're all, all the, the people who work there, they're talking about the projects they've made and the things that we might have seen on the TV and the things that will go out on the TV in the future that they finished making, and you know, basically showing their status, showing us they're, they're credible, they're making moves and all that, uh, which is great. I mean, yeah, if you want us to make something on TV, let's do it. Never happened on my side. Uh, at one point, like, Liz Murdoch walked into the room. We just sat there. It felt like they had asked her to come in. I, I wouldn't have known who she was just by looking at her. I maybe heard her name mentioned in a, in a news article somewhere. 
but it very much felt like these people had been like, oh, Liz, we're gonna have a meeting. Can you come in halfway through and just, you know, tell the acts that you enjoy their work, that you love what they do? Uh, that's what it felt like. And she did. She seemed friendly enough, fine. And the meeting carried on. Whatever they were discussing, I think their main job was just trying to convince my pal to work with them over the other companies. I didn't have much to say, I just sat there looking at my cup and the main guy in this meeting asked me, he said, do you like that cup? And I said, yeah, I think I'm gonna steal it, actually. Uh, which of course he laughed at. Uh, it wasn't a joke, I was definitely gonna steal it. And I, I don't know why I said it, I felt like zero need to play around uh, or like be dishonest with him, with my intentions. I was literally like, I, I like the cup, I think I'm gonna steal it. You probably have enough. You just sat here, you just told Liz Murdoch not to walk in and you've been talking about all these projects you make. You can probably afford to let me take this cup, can't you? But when I said that, I was thinking of stealing it. The guy just said, oh, we'll get you a clean one. Don't worry, no, no, we'll get you. Can, can, you, bring him, can you bring him a clean cup? And I was like, no, no, it's fine. I'll take this one, I'll take this one. And I'd already drank out of it. And I, yeah, we left the meeting. I remember going outside, it had been raining and I, I literally dipped the cup into a puddle just to wash it out a bit, wash the coffee stains out and threw it in my bag and there we go and I still have it. Inspire, create, shine. Beautiful message. See if you can do that. Inspire, create and shine. That's what I'm trying to do. Anyway, yeah, cool. That's that. Uh, love you. Thank you for the support. Always appreciate ya. New song this Saturday. Hope you like it. Take care. Be good. Mwah.